Hey all, in this video I'm going to show you how to do whitewash on furniture. This is the old dresser with a brown stain on it and I'm going to take this all out. So for this I'm using the round sander from Festool and 80 grit. So when I'm sanding down to bare wood I usually use the 80 grit um, sanding sheet to take this old stain out and it does uh, the beautiful work. So I, I recommend you using the 80 grit sandpaper to take the old finish out. So if you see I sanded the top, the sides and all the drawers and even the legs with it and then I did some hand sanding and this is how it looked like after taking all the old stain off. Now comes the whitewash. So I'm using Dixie Belle fluff for that. I mixed one spoon of Dixie Belle fluff and five spoons of water in a cup and mixed it so you can see it's kind of a runny solution. And this is what I'm going to use uh, to do the whitewash look. And you need a chip brush and an old rag or a shop towel to wipe off. So start working in small sections. Cover the surface with the solution that you made. And once it's nicely covered, take an old rag or a shop towel and wipe off uh, the paint nicely. So what you will see is the color of the wood has changed. And then I move uh, to the second drawer and like this I started, I worked in small sections until my wood was covered in the paint. So before doing this, um, just wipe your piece uh, with a dry rag so that is free of any dust and then you start doing the whitewash. So you see I'm working in small sections, putting my paint on the surface and wiping it back immediately and that's how you have to do. If you cover the entire piece of wood with the uh, paint solution and uh, wipe it off later then it dries really fast because it's a chalk paint and the wood is porous so um, you won't be able to get an even whitewash look so that's why I recommend you working in small sections and really fast and uh, so that you, uh, you get an even kind of a, a whitewash look. Make sure you wipe up the paint nicely and completely. Uh, so you see I, I turn the rag and uh, use the cleaner as, uh, part of the rag to wipe off the paint from the dresser. Uh, if you plan to make it more lighter and you see that you need a more whitewash look then I recommend that you let the first paint uh, coat of paint dry completely and then you can go over with the same solution and do your second coat for a more whitewash look. Likewise you cover the legs and then wipe it off with the rag. Uh, so the paint will settle in those details there. Now comes the sealing part or doing your second coat. So like I said, you can either do the second coat with the paint and then seal it with a clear wax or a clear coat once the paint is dried or you can do what I'm doing. I'm using Dixie Belle white wax and to seal the piece and to do my second coat of uh, whitewash look. So we're, just like I did the whitewash, I'm doing the white wax, working in small sections and then uh, wiping it off wax. wax. You don't want to leave the wax of the furniture because uh, it then will be blotchy and very um, greasy. So you need to make sure that you're wiping it off uh, completely. And the same way you can see I did the second coat with the white wax on the entire furniture. So what happens is the wax settles in those um, you know, details on the wood and it just enhances the color completely. Dixie Belle waxes are water-based so they can be sealed with a clear top coat or a clear wax once they have dried and uh, if you plan to use any other wax that is oil-based then they are a sealer in itself and need not be sealed again but you can seal it with a clear wax for uh, added protection and uh, once it was done in a whitewash look in the coat of clear wax this is how the piece looked like and you can see the details here hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching